Do I look like Madison Beer? Um, yeah, but prettier. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs>welcome back to the vlog i am currently in the parking lot about to go into sephora to grab a few things that i just like ordered through their app and you can just do like curbside pickup and pay for it when you get here which i 10 out of 10 love so about to head in and grab the last few products that i need for today's i don't want to call it a tutorial because it's like hella not a tutorial but i am going to be attempting madison beer's makeup routine on my stupid face <laughs> I mentioned this a few vlogs ago, but we have like a very, very different makeup routine. Hers has a lot of blush, a lot of cream products, and like a super light coverage tinted moisturizer, basically. And y'all know that I am a full coverage foundation kind of bitch. So I'm excited to try the tutorial. I also don't have too much going on today. I think Mia and I are going to grab some stuff from Costco later. So like if I look a little crazy, it's gonna be okay. All right, we've got the goods and also Moose's dog bed that just conveniently holds everything. So I got two new pairs of lashes, both just from the Sephora brand. I wanted to get some Lily lashes. I've never tried Lily lashes before, but they were completely sold out. So these are cute. And then yesterday, Remy introduced me to this liquid liner, but also lash glue adhesive. And this one is clear because I don't wear black liner anymore. So TBD to see if we like this. And then for the cream bronzer that I have for the vlog today, I've got a milk cream bronzer, which I have never used. Okay, so let's head home and try and look like uh, Madison Beer. Oh my, oh my God, I look like shit right now. <laughs> I turned on the camera and I was like, oh. So my main situation with my face currently is that I am too anxious to get my lash extensions filled. So I used a bunch of baby oil on a spoolie to get most of the extensions off. And it was pretty successful. But as you can see, we've got a few stragglers hanging on for dear life. They will not come off. So I've ordered a like lash extension specific remover to try and get these guys off because like it looks worse. It literally looks worse having like five Five extensions left. I feel like we've talked about this before, um, but I just get like so anxious and feel a little trapped on the lash table. And I just feel like I am not in a place mentally where I am ready to push myself to go do that. Maybe in like a few months, I'll be ready to like give it another try. And I have like the nicest lash girl ever. I've had multiple panic attacks on her lash table, the poor girl. And she's always like so understanding when I have to like literally get up, take all like the stuff off my eyes and go outside and just like deep breathe for a little bit. She's so understanding and she is so sweet and that like makes the process easier. A bitch is just not ready. We're not ready. So I've got the Vogue video up and I guess we'll just pin these back a little bit. Oh, that's a look. This ain't it. Okay, so I washed my hands. So I use the same moisturizer as Madison and I'm just like a little confused as to why I don't look like her. It's kind of a scam in my opinion. This Drunk Elephant moisturizer though is hands down the best moisturizer I have ever used. I've tried so many other brands and I come back to this one every single time. Next is this Caudalier. The name brand looks bougie, but I'm probably, <laughs> probably pronouncing that so wrong. I've never used anything like this. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's kind of nice. <laughs> Actually, Maybe I don't like the smell of that. I don't know, mixed feelings, mixed feelings. And then she uses a La Mer eye cream and La Mer anything costs exactly $1 billion. I have this Lancome one, which I'm hoping is gonna be just as good. I will say that adding an eye cream into your like pre-makeup skin routine makes such a difference. I have such dry under eyes and my under eyes look like the motherfucking Sahara Desert if I don't do this step. Like when I skip it, there is a visible, visible difference. Okay, we've elixired, we've eye creamed, and now I think we tinted moisturizer. I'm, I'm scared, I'm scared for this. I have decently uneven skin and just like so much scarring that is gradually going away, but like it's a process. So I have to veer off the tutorial a little bit because she does soap brows. And as much as I would love to do soap brows, I don't have any brow hair. And like when I say that I don't have brow hair, like this is what it looks like if I were to try and brush them up. I don't 
have brow hair. I got my brows microbladed maybe like four years ago at this point, and so they've obviously faded so much, but I just don't, it just it, the, the Asian me, I just don't really have brow hair. I guess I'll just fill them in after we do the tinted moisturizer, and I'll try and make them look a little fluffier and a little more like upwards fluff. She's got like thick, beautiful brows, and my brows are carved into my face. Okay, here we go. This is the Becca Light Shifter Doing Tint. Okay, that's a pretty good color match, I will say. I just like chose this one randomly. I get so nervous that's gonna be patchy and just drying And I guess if it's like literally called a tinted moisturizer, that's the opposite of what it's supposed to do Am I doing too much? Like is that too much for a tinted moisturizer? I have no idea. Okay, let's beauty blend and see what happens Okay, is my life about to change forever? It's more coverage than I thought it was going to be, gonna be honest. Ooh, okay. It still just kind of reminds me of like a tinted sunscreen that I have that I don't really love. Also like I just beat the shit out of my face with this beauty blender, I'm fully aware. Let me beauty blender in peace please. With how little coverage this has. It's just so out of my comfort zone. Okay, what's next? What is next, Madison? This is definitely the best tinted moisturizer that I have used in a long time since I haven't really been proactively trying to find anything new. Next, we've got concealer and she uses the NARS concealer, which I have never tried before. I just got the mini just in case I hate it. And she uses a decent amount of concealer, which I love so we can cover everything up. Oh, like she uses a lot, a lot. I fuck with that. Let's cover the shit up. I guess it does make sense that if you have a good concealer and just put that shit all over your face, like in the under eyes, any like problem spots, I can see where it makes sense to wear like a less intense foundation. Cause like my forehead doesn't typically break out that bad. And like my chin is the first to like have a reaction for like hormonal acne. So I don't hate the idea of wearing like a lighter product everywhere else that you don't typically need a full coverage foundation. Oh bitch, I look dewy. I don't know if I've ever understood fully what dewy skin looks like. Am I dewy? Okay, what's next? I got so lucky with the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I saw it on TikTok like three months ago, people raving about it, completely spaced in the past like four days since the last vlog, saying that I had the right bronzer and uh, didn't need the milk makeup one, but I had to go to Sephora anyways. We'll try her out on another day. I have never in my life used a cream bronzer of any kind. And I also exploded the top of it a little bit. And this is in fair medium and it feels like scary. It feels scary. So she uses just like two dots. Oh my God, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Also baby hairs, what is you doing up here? Okay, here we go. Is that like not enough? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just do that and see what happens. That wasn't, oh well, is it doing it at all? I think I just need to commit. I think I need to commit to a little more. Oh, is that too much? Then maybe that's too much. Oh my God. Oh, okay. This is more labor intensive to blend this out than just doing a powder bronzer, but that's pretty nice. She does a few dots up here, but I feel like I have some excess. So I'm just gonna use that on like the temples of my forehead. In the time it's taken me to blend all of these steps out, I would be done my normal makeup routine. So we'll see if there are any steps that like I wanna integrate into my day-to-day -day stuff because I can do my makeup in like seven minutes and I just spent seven minutes blending out that cream bronzer. I think the next step is the cream blush and I am Scared. I mentioned this in the last vlog. I don't fuck with blush. I don't wear it I say no on every set ever because I feel like it makes me look like a cartoon character And I just don't feel like it compliments my face, but this bitch wears a lot of blush Okay, here we go. She does like five big dabs on her cheeks and the nose girl. Oh my god Oh my god. This is where my whole day goes downhill. Jesus god Okay, cartoon. Okay, that is a shit. Oh my God, this hat has way more. Oh my God, I look fucking crazy, I look crazy. Um, um. I look Flustered. Like I look like I just got off the treadmill from a workout that was too hard for me I also just don't understand when you have so much of it like you can only blend it so far. Oh Okay, this is not this ain't it. This ain't it right now. This currently ain't it. It's the blushed nose for me Okay, thank God we were adding some powder. I am just too greasy of a bitch to skip this step. Thank God So she goes under the eyes and in the t-zone What 
about the chin? What about the chin? Yeah, we're gonna cheat a little bit. Okay, didn't powder like this whole area here, this whole area here. Oh my God, we're bronzing again. We're bronzing again, more bronzer. You know what, I like this. We're gonna cover up some of the blush. It's gonna be great. This is a lot of steps. Again, if this is gonna make me look like Madison Beard, like a bitch is in, for sure. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I'm just so much more comfortable with like a powder bronzer. I mean, we still looking pretty dewy though. Okay, she's contouring her nose next with some powder contour. Madison Beer probably has the cutest nose that I've ever seen in my entire life. So like, I don't know what she thinks she's achieving with this contour situation because she already has the cutest nose in the world. More blush, literally more blush. I don't even have a brush for this. I literally didn't bring another, I've, I've okay, hang on, I need, I need another brush. This is actually a super, super pretty blush. I got the exact same one she's using. It's in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. It's super pretty and one side is like really shimmery. Cute, oh my God, I just don't wanna put anything pink on my face. God, that feels like a lot. Ah, I don't wanna do it, I don't wanna do it. Okay, fuck. <laughs> Okay, let's blend that out. Let's tone that down a little bit. Okay, that's a little better. I wonder if her skin tone is just a little more suited than mine for blush. This also might just be like a user air situation. Like if I had Manny Mua, Mr. Manny MUA doing this on my face, it might be better. But this might just be a me thing since I really don't wear blush ever. Oh shit, also we forgot to do brows. Okay, let me try and go in and do some fluffy-ish brows. I promise nothing, like I literally promise nothing. Let me get like real up close here. <sighs> okay, here we go. I think I'm just trying to make something out of nothing here that's not gonna happen, but I do need to match the other side of it. What a girl would give for some brow hair right now. I kinda think that's the best it's going good. We can fix these up afterwards if I need to with like a little concealer to change the shape. But like, I just don't have any brow hair. I really don't. She does some like pretty simple, uh, just like crease eyeshadow action. Also, I'm still using the Aspen Ovar Tarte Palette. It is my all time favorite palette in the entire world. And I'm pretty sure it's completely discontinued because this collab was forever ago. I'm sure, I am absolutely positive it's expired by now, but it is my favorite palette. Hands down. She does like a really chill, just like medium brown crease color. Love that. You guys know how I feel about doing any kind of like hardcore eyeshadow application. So I appreciate the simplicity here. Okay, this next step makes me nervous. One, because my eye shape, I've tried this before in the past, just like does not lend itself very well to this new trend. But it's basically like pulling in the inner portion of the eye and making it come to a little point here. My eye shape just does not do super well with this. So I don't know how this is gonna go. Also, I've gotten a ton of questions lately about how I do my brown liner. I use this busted ass Brow Zings palette from Benefit and I just use the the darkest powder shade down here to do my brown liner every single day. It is the biggest game changer of my entire life. Okay, here we go. Oh, that actually wasn't too bad. Not too bad. Can we see the difference here between both eyes? Yeah, you can definitely see a little difference. Okay, these lashes are just killing me. Oh, that was right in my eyeball. That was right in the eyeball. That went better. Look at this fucking eyelash. <laughs> what are you? Okay, that actually went a lot better than I thought it was going to. Also, she has the most stunning eyelashes in the entire world. Okay, and then her outer brown liner is a little smaller than I would typically do mine. So I'm gonna try and keep mine under control. Okay. 
Oh, that's pretty actually. That's like chill. Maybe what I should aim for with my brown liner because mine's like out to here. Okay. I can't with this eyelash. I can't even take myself seriously with this eyelash. Okay, cream highlighter. This is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Beauty Light Wand in Spotlight. I would say out of all the cream products, this is something that I have used before and I'm a big fan of. So another round of cream highlighter, but she's doing a different one that I don't have. I think it's a Glossier one that was really hard to find. I'm just gonna use this Fenty one and just do a little bit. I don't think I've ever worn so many things on my cheeks. Like there's just so many layers of cheek things happening. I just feel like a cheek breakout in my near future with this many layers of things. She's definitely highlighted, that's for sure. She does mascara next and then a little bit of inner corner highlight but since I oh wait what about my little wing that I worked so hard for oh she kind of goes underneath okay we can rock with this and so she does mascara but since I just have nothing to put mascara on I'm gonna stick a little falsy on oh and I can also try Remy's new product that like glue liner oh yeah this looks like a like an eyeliner liquid liner pen okay we'll give that a try I don't know y'all um okay I didn't do a great job of putting this lash on because I panicked because I wasn't sure how fast this glue dries but outside of me like massively staying the tip of it with the brown liner. I think this is really cool. The only problem is that you can't see where you're putting it on. Whereas I feel like if you had the black one, it would be super, super obvious. So this is tough. Like, is there 10 pounds on there or are there none? Like, I don't know. These lashes that I bought from Sephora for $10 a set are identical to the Ardell Wispies. Just by the Ardell Wispies. Oh my God, it's drying. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Oh God. Okay, not great. I also trimmed them a little bit short. Like, trying to keep things chill, I trimmed them a little bit too short like I almost need to go in with some black liner and just do like the inside waterline there to connect it a little bit more <sighs> okay we're coming to an end this is the Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat reshape and resize lip liner in iconic nude so if she doesn't do like any kind of colored anything outside of just like a lip liner and then gloss which I have never done before oh this is a great color This is such a close color to my lip color that I can almost not see where I'm applying it. Final step is this Ulta Juice Infused Lip Oil. I'm curious to see if I like this. I've tried so many lip oils and I feel like so many of them are sticky. This kind of smells like an alcohol that I drank in high school. What's that, that coconut alcohol that you like? Ugh. I just had to Google it. It's Malibu. It smells like Malibu coconut rum is what it smells like. <sighs> okay, so I definitely have a janky lash to fix, 100%. But for the sake of time and not having to take them off and put them back on, mm, you know what, this lash has to go, hang on. We can't, I need to reassess the lash situation. Okay, lash crisis averted. This one, I tried to like fix it a little bit. She is glued on, that lash is not coming off. You know what, I will say, my cheeks do look really nice. Every fiber of my being wants to put more powder on my face, but I guess like the forehead is matte, the chin is matte, but just like everything right here is so dewy because I mean, we literally have 14 layers of different cream products. Actually, maybe I like it. You know what I do really like that I never thought I would is this little portion here bringing the inner corner in. I might steal that for my everyday makeup routine. And there are definitely some cream products in here that I'm a fan of. The cream bronzer and cream highlighter. I think we go and cut the blush forever. As much as like this looks okay, I just don't know. I think it's the nose too that throws it. Maybe we can, maybe we can just relax this out a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm stuck with that. Okay, so don't look like Madison Beer, but fun makeup experience. I rarely try new products. So this is actually kind of fun for me. I'm definitely gonna keep, I'm gonna keep all of it because I used it all. So there's like no returnsies now, I guess. Uh, but there are a few products in here that I'll definitely continue to incorporate in my routine. Ooh, I wanna, I wanna matte some of this out so bad with some powder. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. Aside from the lip oil smelling like Malibu rum, I'm going to not use that ever again, but I do, that lip liner is bomb. That is such a good color. So maybe just like that lip liner with just like my own gloss that doesn't smell like um, high school drinking. Oh, that is illegal. We're not gonna, it's not that didn't, it just didn't happen, didn't happen. Oh, you know, you know in Men in Black when they hit that pen and it goes like flash and then you forget that part? <laughs> okay, 
I don't know. I just look different. I almost think it's like this. It's making me look so different. I don't know. Maybe I look the exact same and I'm just crazy. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think. I do you like the cheeks though? I do like the cheeks. Chul, do I look like Madison Beer? Um, yeah, but prettier. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. No, I'm not gonna say that again. <laughs> Jeremy just said that I look no, no different, but a little cakier. <laughs> Can we go back to you putting the, the good stuff on the internet? Let's just- We have a whole podcast of the bad Let's stuff. Let's just do the narrative. Cakier in some areas and way less in other areas. Okay. Maybe I do look the same. I mean, you don't look any different. Really? Like if you were like, who, who am I? I'd say- uh, Lord DIY? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, fuck me. <laughs> okay, go, go over there. Do we come out? You jump me in the background? No, just more things have to crop out. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be in the reflection eating pizza. Hi guys, it is the next day and um, I completely forgot to end the vlog yesterday. I also am not at home. This video will make a ton more sense in a week from now. Um, I'm super excited for you to see it. Also, I did um, the Madison beer. I did some of the Madison beer stuff today, mostly just like the cream bronzer, the cream highlighter, and like the tiniest bit of powder blush. I was too scared to use the cream blush, um, so I used a little bit of powder. So I am going to end the vlog here hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you i don't know when this vlog is going up so maybe there's a sun diy up today or yesterday and then i'm super excited if you see the video that i'm currently shooting now not at home okay bye guys love you